Hello traveler. Summer is around the corner and I know some of us are planning international traveling this summer. Okay, so here we go. International travel is on the rise more than two years into the pandemic and the venturing out of a country can be costly if you don't have a plan to book your flight within the sweet spot. Number one, Canada. The average airfare for the country coming at $363 flying from the USA. And the February and March are the cheapest months to fly. On the other end of the spectrum, August and December are the most expensive. Mexico, January and February are the two cheapest months to fly to Mexico, while August and December tend to be the priciest. Caribbean, meanwhile, the best day to buy I mean, your ticket is about 75 days in advance of departure. The shoulder season, September and October, is the cheapest time to fly to the Caribbean island, while peak summer is July and the winter peak is December are the most expensive time to fly to the Caribbean. Europe, booking just under three months or 79 days out is your best bet. And October and November give you the best chance to save even more. Summer traveler will need a bit more luck, though as May and June are priced to be the most expensive months to fly across the pond. Africa, for my fellow African on my channel, listen carefully. October and November are the cheapest months to fly to the continent, while July and December will produce the most expensive ticket. Asia, January and April are the cheapest months to fly to the continent. On the flip side, August and December are the two priciest time to fly. Central America, the average airfare in at $522 flying from the USA. Springtime and the shoulder season months of September and October are the cheapest for the region. This year, while July and December are priced to do more damage to your budget, spring is the most affordable time to travel to Central America with ticket price running about $60 less than the over three seasons. So you save $60 less. South America, I, May or shoulder season, September and October will allow you to stretch your budget further than the pricey months of July and December. Middle East, the average airfare coming just over $1,000, but October and November we likely net the most saving, while July and December are the two most expensive time to visit the Middle East. Oceania, January and April are the cheapest months, while October and November will prove the costliest. So here you have it for international travel. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with another topic. This is Aya. Bye-bye.